Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Now, any of you avid followers of me will be aware that my very first video and my very first project was this little Yankee candle box. And last Christmas we had the beautiful Candy Cane Lane DSP um, and the Cookie Cutter Christmas uh, stamp set. And I managed to find Candy Cane Lane um, Yankee candles and so I made these little boxes uh, for the candles and I actually made them and gave them to some of my um, demonstrators that I uh, went to a training event with and they all received one of these from me. Um, I thought that this year why not make another one um, but using the current stuff um, and this year I went with this one and I'm using the Year of Cheer DSP we have some new mini bows, mini gift bows, which are Season of Glitz. So we have some really nice dark red, dark green and white. So I've added the white one to the top here. This is the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. And I'm hoping that you can see the, the candle inside. All is bright and it's obviously got those gold flecks on. Now, I was torn between that one because of the gold snowflakes that were inside and this one which is sparkling snow and has the, the snowflakes on and I really couldn't decide which one to go with but in the end I decided to stick with All Is Bright and so it's the box is exactly the same, it's made slightly differently it's exactly the same size, same dimensions as you can see the window is slightly smaller um, and the base is slightly different so um, but the, the rest of it is basically the same so I'm going to show you how I made them so you need some DSP that is 9 by 7 and this again is the beautiful year of cheer DSP now you may look at that and think oh look at all that silver it's not silver I'll let you into a little secret it's champagne we have and I'll just grab one from behind me if I can. We now have in the Christmas Autumn Winter catalogue champagne foil sheets. Oh, you can see all the reflection of my mirror and myself and my camera and everything. But we have foil. If I can grab, I don't have any silver to hand. Oh, wait a minute, yes I do. I have a silver sheet here. If I can just grab my silver, you will see hopefully the difference in colour. There we go. It's sort of a mixture between silver and copper and it is beautiful. Um, and as you can see, I mean, it's just got a bit of a warmer glow to it than silver. I think it's beautiful. So nine by seven, grab your scoring board and your scoring tool. And it doesn't matter which side you score, to be honest, because everything is increments of two so with the nine inch we score it two four six and eight then we rotate for the seven inch whoops and we score at two four and six simple as that so we pop this away Whoop, hanging stuff about Scissors, bone folder. So, as you know, we fold and burnish all of these score lines. And as I said, they're all in two inch increments, so it's pretty easy to follow along. If anything, it's the cutting that is the, the tricky part, making sure you cut the right pieces. So, that's all those bits done. So, this is now our piece all folded um, and scored and burnished. So you've got a thin strip at the top and a thin strip to the right. So this is going to be our base and we simply cut up all of our four base pieces here. And then when we get to the skinny one, we just cut it away because we don't need it. And then this is now a wedge for the side, sorry a tab for the side so we cut a wedge and then we have skinny and small square and we simply cut those away. 
So that's the bottom and our side tab. So now spin it round towards you so this lint, the thin strip is towards you and we need to cut this thin strip away all the way along to the very last one and then you cut that away. So this is actually the lid that sits inside. So now with these we cut down the sides just as we did with the bottom and then sideways so we've got our side tab here this is our base so these are the side bits of the box that you're going to see so this end one you need to cut halfway across that top square and then cut wedges and they are if you know by now what I call the shoulders of my box so if I open this one up it's these parts here what I call shoulders and it just helps your lid sit in place and then I'm going to fold this under so it's out of the way and cut the same across this one cut those wedges and then tuck that one under and cut this completely away because we don't need that and you will be left with that shape which I shall just leave for a minute so that you can have a look make sure yours is the same these are our bottom bits here and these are the top so when you come to fold your box up that is where your lid goes so making note that this now is going to be the front we need to punch that little circle just so that we can have a little sneaky peek as to what's inside our box now you don't have to if you don't want to I choose to so I'm using the one and a quarter circle punch which is slightly smaller than my original and then you just have just enough room to slide it in there and if you can eyeball it and line it up and then punch your hole and that one's actually better than my first one so obviously now we need a window sheet to put behind there so I've got a small piece here that I have forgotten the size of so let's have a quick bearing in mind that your squares here are two by two so you ideally need it to be I mean this is one and a half and I'm going to do one and three quarters just to give it that little bit more coverage and that will do fine because obviously my punch was one and a quarter and then I'm just going to add glue dots into all four corners on lovely flip it back over now let's get some adhesive on Move those out of the way so my my tricky fast fuse that I have at the moment so just on that tab there fold them over seal it up and so now all I need to do is fold in my sides the back and then the front last so again get some adhesive on there making sure that your box is square as you put this down and then I just get my fingers in and give it a little press and there you have your box but obviously when you close this now it's going to cover half of your window so go back and grab your one and quarter punch and just take out a small amount check it make sure that it's not going to go in front of your window the only downside is you need to just make sure I've left some of my it's a bit too wide that bit there just make sure when you put this in that it doesn't go between the window sheet and the card that is the tendency with this bit and you see mine just covers there 
So I'm just going to take it out and punch again, just slightly over, and that will be enough. And then stop your candle moving around, because if you pop it in now, it's a bit big and it just wobbles everywhere. So you need two sheets of two pieces of whisper white that are three inches by one inch. I'm going to use my trimmer just because it's easier and closer to hand. So with your score, you need to score at one quarter of an inch, which I find it's easier to do this side because there's obviously more to keep it straight there. So three quarters, twist it round now, two inches, score again. And you need to do two of those. So three quarters, twist, two inches, score, done. Then you simply fold these over. You don't need to burnish them. They don't need to have exact creases. These are just little, what I call, blocks to go in the back. Now on my previous one, I just put some sellotape across there. But I had a light bulb moment as I was making the other one. And I thought, oh, I can't be bothered to go and hunt for the sellotape. I'll just use tear and tape. And then all of a sudden, the light bulb moment struck. And I thought, wait a minute, why didn't I do this last time? If I use tear and tape, I can take the backing off and they will stick in the back corner of my box so that when I come to take my candles out they won't fall. For example, the original, take it out, take my candle out, there are my two blocks, but they're loose, they move around. This one, cleverly thought about, they don't move around because I use the tear and tape. Oh, I was so proud of myself when I realised I'd done that. So, let's put these back in here quickly, out of the way. So, tear and tape on your little wedges at the, to go in the back. Take your backing off. It doesn't matter which way round. Just make sure that they're touching the bottom of the box before you stick them in. Because when I tried that other one, they got stuck halfway up and it was silly. So make sure they're on the, the bottom of the box and then just push them in and they sit. I have put the longer edges together but it doesn't matter which way round you do it. Pop your candle in and then just to decorate them, like I said, oh this one's playing up, come on, don't be a nuisance today. There we go. So just to decorate. I have two beautiful snowflakes that are actually from seasonal tag framelits. These don't go with this, they are for this beautiful, I just grabbed the stamp set to show you, seasonal chums. Super cute, perfect for tags which I'm sure will be a video of mine at some point and obviously then you have the, the dies to cut them out, perfect. But they had these two beautiful snowflakes and I thought well I can use those. So using the beautiful champagne foil sheet I die cut two out. So where have they gone? Glue dots over here. So just with a couple of glue dots add one to the centre of the big one which fits just nicely which I'm just going to pop on that corner. And then this one, which just needs a little bit of messing about with because it is just a fraction bigger. And if you can see, hoping you can see there, I've just tucked the glue dot oh, in so that it doesn't overlap the gaps here. And he's just going to sit at the bottom. Now remember when you're sticking anything on the bottom here, that it's got to stay flush otherwise it won't sit flat when you come to put it on a surface and the last but not least is one of these beautiful uh, season of glitz bows which I'm going to go with white again I'm afraid and then just as you would with your 
gift wrapping bows that you get. You just peel the backing off and stick it on the top. And there you have it. A super cute updated version of my Yankee Candle box. Isn't it beautiful? Hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you like it and I hope it's given you some inspiration for some little projects or gifts on the Christmas table when you're doing Christmas dinner for family or friends. Thanks for joining me guys, don't forget all the products will be on my blog and the link for that is below. Thank you for joining me, see you soon, bye!